This is Aduna Plus, and today we're going to show you how to remove all of the textiles in case you need to wash them or conduct small sewing repairs. So to start with, uh, we're going to remove the canopy, and if you look here, you can pull your finger in under this lip, and there are these little buttons that you can pop out, just like this. Three of them. And then here on the sides, you need to remove this canopy rib, which you just pull. It can actually take quite a bit of force the first time, but it will pull out on both sides. Then on the sides of the canopy here, there is a little strap that you need to pull off of the canopy rib on both sides. And then you can feed the rib through. To remove the textiles from the seat then, let me turn it around here so you can see. And under here are these little plastic uh, clips that are connected onto these little hooks here. So you need to remove them all, three of them again, and then you can separate out the textiles from the top. We also need to deal with the uh, harness. So for the harness, you want to start by giving yourself some extra length, pressing this button in the middle, and pull the shoulder straps, detach the harness, come around to the back side, and here, these straps are attached to this metal buckle, so you need to pull them off the hooks on either side. pads and we can pull these straps out entirely and then we can uh, begin to remove the rest of the textiles here so you're just going to reach in here and pull up and there are these little clips inside but they come off quite easily so we're just separating our way through one more of those hooks on the back I missed down. Then on the sides here, we want to carefully pull the textiles out from under these plastic bits. And you want to, of course, be very careful not to damage any of the styrofoam underneath. That's kind of important with all car seats. So both sides. Okay, under here is another one of these buttons. So you need to unsnap it. one of those buttons like we saw with the canopy both sides and then there's a last button here right in the middle underneath with like a little tag to help you get under it okay then we have to feed the textiles around this buckle or this uh, plastic apparatus here that houses that strap for lengthening the harness so we're gonna pull it up and over and then we can pull out the central buckle. And as we take this whole assembly of textiles off, we can pull out the straps through the, uh, like the side strap hole. Go. And then you can lift out the entire seat with the insert. As far as the rest of the seat is concerned, before uh, putting back the textiles, you'll probably want to wipe it down, vacuum in all of the cracks and stuff like that. It can get kind of filthy there. Uh, for the textiles themselves then, all of them can be washed in a washing machine on 30 degrees, so a colder wash, and then just hung up to dry. Don't use a dryer, dryer afterwards. To put the textiles back on, we're just gonna reverse the process. Okay, we're gonna start off by getting this hole around the harness expansion mechanism. So feed that strap through, and then we're just going to press in this textile around that plastic lip, and then pull it in while pressing down around the side and trying to get the textile all underneath 
that leg. There we go, straightened out. Then you're going to reach under and find that central buckle, and you're going to feed it through this channel. There we go, and we're going to do the same thing with the side belts. So you're going to hold the whole side belts, and of course you want to make sure that things don't get twisted as you're uh, pulling this stuff through. There's one, and the other one, making sure it goes in untwisted. This. getting it all sort of partway set up with these uh, belts and stuff, but you'll of course have to adjust a little bit as well later, but you wanna have access to them once you start attaching the rest of the seat fabrics. There we go. All right, then we're going to attach this button here, central button here on the bottom. and then pull these textiles around the side. And remember that there is this other button underneath here that has to clip on. So I'm just gonna get it over that corner and then find that button, pop it in place, fold it all the way around and tuck everything in. side, get a hold of it, pop it in place, and just tuck everything in around the side. Okay, following these uh, textiles up, you need to tuck it under these plastic side elements. And then you have uh, these parts. So looking down in this crack, you'll see a slit, and that's where these two little clips have to go through. So one, you'll feel it when it clips into place. Other side. All right, on to the top end, where there were actually four again of these straps. Pulling in this stretchy part, and we're going to use these straps as we go to hold it in place. So pull it down, find that peg underneath, pop it on, and just work your way around the back. Down through, in place, through place and the last corner again being very careful of the styrofoam making sure the textiles are not twisted and they're all pushed down into the crack where they're supposed to be last one in place so textiles are now reassembled and we need to do these belts. So pull it around, make sure it's twisted the right way so that you can get this buckle in and it's not twisted. And then if you're using this insert, then there's these loops here underneath you wanna get through first and then you need to feed it through the back again. Uh, this depends a little bit on how big your kit is. So just put it in the appropriate one, right? Because there are several of these holes. It's also how you adjust the height of the shoulder straps. So I'm gonna use the top one here, put it all the way through and slide it through that slit so that it pulls out through these slits. All right, other one, make sure that it's not twisted using this insert so we have to go through that loop. Through the slit, pulling from the back side, being careful of that styrofoam. And pulling it out and then returning to the back and we're going to pull this up again you need to make sure that this goes on the inside of this metal bar and then we can reattach 
the straps here over these little metal hooks. At this point, you can use the strap in the center to tighten up your belts again, replace your shoulder pads. Just button onto the belts. And straighten out the inserts. Back over to the canopy. I'm going to feed this rib back through the canopy. And then I had these straps to make sure to hook those back on to the ends and they fit right in under that little lip. And then we're going to snap these back in. And then we're gonna reattach these three buttons. Final straightening, all the textiles if you need it, and you're good to go. So that was how to remove the textiles from the Duna Plus in case you need to wash them and how to remount them. We hope this video was useful to you, and if it was, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.